Welcome everybody. This is Match Cut, a new series we are starting here on the studio channel because we like to get competitive. Let's be honest. We have ping pong, pool. We've created a couple different challenges. This is episode number one and it's all about top downs because everybody loves top downs on our channel. So we are getting three contestants, team members who will be versing each other with some mystery items and some curveballs that we throw at them to try and see who can create the best top down set. At the end, it will be judged by an expert panel of judges. You might know some of them. Some of them you might not be expecting. Guest judge, first episode, you've never seen that before. We are excited. Let's meet our contestants. You know them, you love them. First up, we have Brandon Bavard. My name is Brandon. I am uh, South Philadelphia, born and raised. I'm not fresh and I'm not a prince, but I'm here to compete and win the Golden Goblet or cash prize. They really haven't told us what our prize is yet, but I know it's gonna be something good. Next up with our contestants, you've seen him all over the studio channel, David Amell. I'm David. I have almost no experience in top down, and I think that's why I'm going to beat Brandon and Vin today. So Brandon and Vin are both wearing t-shirts today, but I'm wearing this sweater, so I have something up my sleeve. And last but certainly not least, we have everyone's favorite Vin Dang. Mr. Boy Vin, you know, top down, professional. Today, I'm here to claim this prize. There's going to be money, right? I feel like David might be a secret kind of opponent here. Brandon's pretty good, but David, he's kind of a wild card. Quick explanation of the rules. We are creating a top-down set. The item in your box must be the primary focus of your shot. You have 15 minutes to create. You can use anything in the entire office. Camera movement are allowed. The clip has to be five seconds at some point when you are inside the top-down room we will throw what we like to call a stinger at you, which will just be a minor inconvenience that you'll have to use for the rest of your time slot. Please open your boxes. <laughs> Let's see what we've got. Uh, oh no. Interesting. Brandon Havard has the last dab Apollo hot sauce. We have David Amell with the jerry rig everything <laughs> knife clear. How do you do that? Fits with everything. And Vin Dang with the LTTstore.com banana if you would like to know where to get it. You have your mystery items, 15 minutes on the clock, and your time starts now. So my dish today is a clear Jerry Rig Everything knife, which uh, is a little bit difficult because again, it's clear, it's not colored, so it's gonna be a little hard to match color around. I might throw a curveball and go a little bit wonky because the benefit of this being clear is that I can match it with anything. <laughs> All right, all right, okay. I didn't think about this at all. I should have thought about this. Okay, so we're probably going to be like, maybe an industrial style look, but I also want to like think about using clear things. So let's see, we got the nothing ear one buds somewhere. There's this light bulb, I might use the light bulb. What the heck is this? Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe. I might use a red board actually, because it would be, that would pop a lot. That one's like a bright red, that's a darker red. I'm gonna try the bright red, let's see. I'll start with that. Ugh. So I was given the Linus Tech Tips banana and uh, I'm gonna put it in a lot of weird situations, maybe like a bed, kind of like nighttime sleepy thing, or maybe like a beach, like outdoorsy thing. I don't know. We're going to the lens room, cause we need ingredients. Let's go with matte yellow as a choice. I'm gonna actually build these all on the ground first and then put my mystery mouse katool is the Apollo last dab. I'm not gonna give away too much yet, but I think I'm gonna go for like a, like a super rugged, like, um, like you can smell the smoke. The vibe of today will be spicy. And if I don't win, I'm taking a little bit of this last dab. Um, I want this one. Hopefully I will not have to make too many trips doing that because hopefully this will be the one I stick with. Helios Aperture Light. Jesus Christ. Mm. Uh, is anyone drinking that water out there? I think it's my paper towels. 
Oh look, these appeared out of nowhere. Wow. So that's a lot of clear stuff. I'm like kind of mixed on the red now. I feel like maybe it's a little much. Okay, we're gonna do the textured red, the, the icons red. Maybe a black. Is this sharpened? No, it's not. Okay. So one of the sets is gonna be the banana taking a nap. This is the blanket. Now I just need a pillow. This is the pillow. There you go. So that one's gonna be like slightly nighttime. So I'm probably gonna do like a cool sky panel for that. Well, let's do a beach one as an alternative. And when you're at the beach, you need a towel. Maybe a plant. This is too easy. Grab this too. Oh. So this is gonna be our sun source that's gonna be hit off from the side. Ooh. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to turn this warm. Warm. Is that yellow? It is turning yellow. Let's get the plant in there. Scissors, 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 scissors. My best. Ah! Wait, do we have a door wedge? Like one of those plastic door wedges. That actually is working much better than expected. We've kind of have three different levels of urgency, what I've realized. David was pretty panicked, but he does this the least. Vin was just ready and you saw he had some extra time. Brandon is calm, cool, collective, but at the same time, like walking very fast and very heavy. Like you, I think he saw the time and it, it startled him a little more than he thought. Sounds like you're not ready for this, but we are going <laughs> to give you your first stinger that we mentioned before. Oh my I will get this hat. We have three different challenges in here. Feel free to pick it out. Can also, I take another one? Hat brought to you by shop.mkbhd.com. Color, color select. select. So, what we are going to do, I have a random color generator on this oh. phone. If the color you land on is part of your frame, okay. you have to take it out and you are not allowed to use that color. Mm. If the color selected is not in your frame, you have to add, it you have to add that into okay. your final frame. Okay. Upside, Upside down. down. All what right, does that give mean? Us one minute. What does that mean? What's going on? Your monitoring is now upside down for the rest of the, the challenge. The resolution is also extremely low. I can't, this I can't is a 4K see, monitor. I can't see what's in focus. Well, because it's just, I think it's just because it's out of focus. It, no, it was, it was in focus before. Right? Oh, maybe not. Uh, that's that's okay. Yeah, I'm not okay, really bad. Uh, all right, that. that's confidence. I like yeah. it. You're, I usually, I usually you're, take photos upside down as well. So all it right. Doesn't matter. Other hand. All right, so for this stinger, we will be tying your dominant hand behind your back, and you'll be using your left hand for the rest of the challenge. Okay. All right. It's fine. So there's a, a couple positives here. You have the slate up there already. That's a plus. It would be very hard to do that without That's true. your other hand. So how are you feeling with one oh. hand tied behind your back? Uh, not so handy. Purple. Oh, we do not purple. have purple. There must be a purple element in your final frame. Got you. Do we have purple paper? This will have to go in there. I'm gonna force it in there somehow. Oh, I kind of like the purple around the plant, actually. If I wrap the plant with this. Oh yeah, come on. Well, that's actually pretty difficult. Um, okay, I'm gonna isolate the subject, so I'm gonna put it like here. Um, I kind of wish I could mask that out, but I can't, okay. Um, whoa, whoa, what is that frequency? Holy guacamole. Oh my God. <laughs> Apertures. Do we have any more in here? I don't believe so. Probably the gear box. Shoot. The uh, box on top. Top of what? The charging station. Right here. The box on top of it. The aperture box. Oh, okay. There's none in there. They're empty. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, this sucks! <laughs> this is terrible. Jesus. Ah. I'm dying! I need a lighter.
Oh no. Oh god. Okay. Got it. Um. Five minutes remaining, Vin. Five minutes remaining. Oh yeah, don't even trip. I got you. Don't trip. All right, I won't trip. I was gonna ask how you're doing, but apparently you ain't tripping, so I think we're good here. You could hear the the birds chirping, the monkey in the background. Woo -hoo. Let me get one more take. You've got time, might as well use it. David could use this time, I think. One minute on the clock, you have one minute. Remember, you need to record the five seconds yeah. before the timer ends. Oh, before the timer ends? Before the timer ends. Oh, shoot. So, yep, she's done. All right, well, maybe we should have made it much faster for Vin because he's obviously very talented at this, but great job. Uh, time to spare, kick back, you know. You can go trash talk the other guys if you want for the remaining 40 seconds. One minute remaining, give me a five. Let's go, I believe in you. 10 seconds. Is that good? Yeah? Did we do it? Round of applause, round of applause. I'm holding the microphone so I can give a round of applause, but great job, David. Hands hand up, hand up, hand in the air. Ah okay. that was that was intense. That was I liked brutal. that a lot. Alright, you can uh, unstrap that yourself was really now brutal. if you like. I'm sorry that bungee cord is not good. Okay, well I have a frame. You have a frame? I have a frame. I don't have movement, but I have a frame. Oh, wow. We'll that see you at the rough. judges' table. Okay. All right. Good job. It's been real. That was really brutal. You never quite think about how privileged you are to have two of these until all of a sudden the one is gone or behind your back. Um, but yeah, that was rough, especially towards the end. I definitely realized that I hurt myself by putting the water down the table so early because all of a sudden the tape wasn't sticking and the mount was failing and um, I sort of, I think that was the thing that largely messed up my take the most. So that was definitely pretty challenging. I've been working most of my life to get up to something of this caliber, but this is like the Olympics of top-down competitions. I've never actually done something this intense before. And I was kind of scrambling. I didn't really know what to do with this dish because usually you're fed something like crab wagyu, but I was fed a jerry-rig everything knife. And I didn't really know if I should do a clear theme or an industrial theme. So I was kind of scrambling between the two, but I think at the very end there, I pulled through and Brandon and Vin, gonna have a hard time. I think the hardest part for me was definitely the wild card because purple is not a color that we have in the studio that much. So I got lucky that that purple tarp was already there. So I feel like everyone's is gonna look a like pretty different. Not gonna lie, we all have different styles. All right, welcome back to Match Cut. Our contestants have finished their final frames, uploaded to the computer, and we are now going to introduce them to our guest panel of judges. Hello, chefs. For my dish, I was trying to showcase the clearness of the knife as well as the sharpness of the knife while also getting some color in there because the knife is transparent. All right, let's see it. Cool. All right. <laughs> Good work. All right. Yeah, I think I have my thoughts. What I like about it is the consistency of items across the across the frame. Yeah, it was uh, so all the you had some props. They were all the same color, but they didn't really seem like they had anything to do with each other. I also like how uh, a lot of the objects are transparent. The lighting is is interesting as well. I think there's some some good ideas here. So chefs, I have prepared for you today. A top down featuring the Linus Tech Tip banana in yellow. Okay, let's see. It. Yeah, I'm having trouble seeing the purple. Interesting. Yeah, it's kind of like a yeah. dish where you had to use an ingredient, so you put the ingredient in like the, the side. Cool. Yeah, I just kind of snuck it in there. It's a yeah, little it's hidden. I definitely get the beach vibes here. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Today, I have prepared for you a spicy top down. Um, that that of uh, hot sauce. Um, the inspiration was fire and water. Let's see. There's a little flicker of light uh, in there. Yeah, yes. I don't yes. know if that's intentional. I like that it's uh, 
an elevated subject. That's just a personal mm -hmm. thing that I like to see. Despite being a, a still clip, there's still a lot of movement that you can kind of see with the background and even the water, how it's spilled. It's mm -hmm. fascinating. All right, thank you, uh, contestants, for your participation. We've got some deliberation to do, so we have a pretty tough choice to make, but that's what we're gonna do now. Thank you, chefs. Thank you, chefs. I felt like Marquez, the chef, was not very uh, understanding of my incorporation. Because ah. I felt like I wrapped it around the plant. You know what I'm saying? I didn't just lazily slap it on there. We're playing to our audiences, right? Like, Marquez usually likes brighter things. I chose a much darker subject. That's true. So, like, that could, that could mess me up. But I do have Tim on one side and Isaac on the other. I think Isaac likes light, light things does, too, though. But like, I don't know. I'm a little worried in that respect. But, but like, Tim I wasn't thinking about that. is the true designer here. He'll know who the real winner is. That's true. So with David's piece, a little chaotic, I like it. It's flat, but that's fine with me. It lets me see the transparency of everything. But it is kind of a basic layout, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Top left corner, bottom left corner, top right corner. I think the payoff in the end isn't what I had hoped it to be. It feels like it drops off, but the beginning frame is very promising. Uh, I think how it ends as well is a little bit questionable, mm -hmm. but I do like the energy throughout it, and uh, I like the consistency of you know each of the objects having some transparent element. It's, it's quite nice. Also, the text is upside down, probably because he was working with an upside down monitor. That's true. So with Vin's piece, we do get a little bit of movement, right? And I think that's very unique to this top down. It's one of the things I really like about a good top down. I feel like I can hear Vin's video. I hear the seagulls. I hear the, the waves crashing on the beach. So I think mission accomplished as far as beach vibes. I do kind of wish that the purple was a little bit more noticeable. I was going to say, do we think Vin got away with not really using the purple. It's, it's disappointing. Yeah. Yep. All right, so with Brandon's shot, it's static. So I hit play and nothing happened. That's fine, a lot of top-down shots are static. It has a lot of movement that's almost present here. You can see how the water has splashed, the chaos of the scene, even the background having these waves. It just looks like it's moving even though it's a complete still image. I do like the way that he tied foreground and, and background elements together and really pushed the fire and water concept just with those two things. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more of the fire, less of the battery holding up the yeah. bottle. So I guess then this will be our winner. All right, let's bring it back in. All right, welcome back. We had a tough choice. Honestly, at first we went through all of our feedback. We really like what you see, first of all. All of you did a really good job considering the restraints, right? The longer we looked at them, the more we actually felt like we saw in each shot, we have a winner. And that winner is the shot from David. Ah! What? What? Oh my god! Mom! Mom, thank you so much. Mom, thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. To give a little a little peek behind the curtain, you know, we, we saw each of the mystery objects highlighted very well in each of them. Love seeing that. With David's we were so struck by the fact that everything was so intentional. Obviously, we noticed the transparency of the objects, but even the transparency of the intended action, which was to annihilate the competition, we found that strikingly deep. Beautiful. Uh, it was beautiful. It was poetic, actually, I might say. <laughs> Thank you, chefs. You can stop calling us chefs, though. That's, yep. I don't know why. Bro, you yeah, got you got to chill on that one. Yeah. All right, we just finished our inaugural match cut competition. How does it feel to be the first ever winner on the Studio Channel? Honestly, I've been training for this for about 25 years. Um, I never thought I would actually win one of these things. I've been dreaming about it since I was probably like four, even though I was two when I started training. And it's just been, it's just unbelievable. I just can't, I can't. Thank you I so can't. much. That is our inaugural Match Cut episode. I really hope you guys all enjoyed that. We will have many more coming up. Uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below if you have any other ideas for games you could play in the future. And, you know, drop a like, drop a like. Tell us if someone else should have won because someone else likes. What did I? <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's no, there's no winning. What did I win? We'll pin your comment in the. Uh... Let's go. There we go. <laughs> yes. Thanks a lot. You, you can, you, you can. Lens. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Woo! Woo! That's a wrap. It's a wrap. We have been chopped. Donuts in the back.
<laughs> it felt like a real TV show. <laughs> That's kind of sick.